Hi, I'm Rhiannon from Barbecue Spit Rotisseries, and today I'm going to show you how to cook a pork shoulder in the Flaming Coals Gravity Feed Smoker. So the first step in prepping this pork shoulder is to trim off all of this hard fat. Now we don't want to remove all of the fat. Um, fat, after all, means flavour, and leaving a bit of fat on there also helps keep the meat nice and moist. Today we're cooking with two of my favourite pork rubs, both from Cosmos Q, the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee and Cosmos Q Hot Dirty Bird. Let's start with a base layer of the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. Make sure you cover all the surface areas. Next, we're going to apply the Hot Dirty Bird. We're all rubbed up. We're going to let this sit for an hour before popping it in the Gravity Feed Smoker. So we've brought our Flaming Coals Gravity Feed Smoker up to temperature. Our temperature we're cooking at today is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. We've also connected a Flaming Coals Tempmaster Pro, which we've dialed in at 225, and that's gonna help us maintain that consistent temperature throughout the 10 hour cook. We've used Flaming Coals Lump Charcoal in our chute, and we've scattered cherry wood throughout the chute to give us that nice cherry wood flavor. Now it's really important to keep your meat nice and moist during the smoking process. I like to spritz with apple juice about once every hour. We've had our meat cooking in the gravity feed smoker for just over five hours. So I'm tipping it's going to be time for wrapping. But now I'm going to use an instant read thermometer just to double check the internal temperature of the meat. Now the meat is going to be absolutely piping hot. So it's really important that you put on some inner gloves before you put on your protective food handling gloves. I like to wrap a pork shoulder with some honey, brown sugar and some butter. When testing for doneness, my preferred method is to use an instant read thermometer, put it into the meat and make sure there's no resistance. Now, some people may tell you to aim for a certain temperature, uh, which can be helpful as a guide, but the real way to know whether it's done is you should be able to insert it and there'd be zero resistance. So as you can see, there's no resistance here. So it's time to get the meat out of the smoker and into the hot box to rest for an hour. So our pork shoulder has rested for an hour. It's time to open it up and get pulling. Delicious. So one of the ways you know if you absolutely nailed your pulled pork is if you get a clean bone when you pull it out. Look at that, nailed it. Now a great way to use pulled pork is to make a pulled pork burger. Top it off with a little bit of coleslaw. There we go. Delicious. Mm -hmm. 